Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. So if you're interested in getting all the deets on this beautiful, gorgeous unit sent to me by Amazon seller, stay tuned. So today's wig guru comes to us by a company on Amazon called Stamp Gloria. Stamp Gloria sells um, wigs and other type of um, hair accessories on Amazon. So they contacted me about reviewing this dreadlock wig that they are debuting on Amazon that will be available mid-September. The wig is really, really nice. The color I have is a number one. And um, as you can see, the curls on it is tight. It gives you that dreadlock look. It gives you that um, really nice kinky look and um, for a fraction of the cost. It's about 14 inches long. It is a synthetic wig. It is heat safe um, and it comes packaged pretty, you know, pretty good. The circumference of it is about 20 to 22 inches. So it fits my head pretty well. You get it in three different colors. Um, the color, like I said, that I have is the number one. And this is the wig. And this is just a close up of the wig um, and what you get, um, how it looks straight out of the packaging. Um, it's really, really pretty. I love the natural tips on this. As you can see, it's really, really full as well. They give you a lot of um, hair with this wig. The unit can obviously be customized. It is not lace. It it is a full wig or you can wear it as a half wig um, pulling some of your hair out in the front and blending it in. The wefts that come on this is really really nice and it is um, put down on a cap that is normal size. You don't get any combs with this wig but you do get adjustable straps in the back and if so you can go ahead on and you could use um, bobby pins to secure the wig on the side. Um, so like I said it's a really really nice wig and what I'm going to do is get into some styling of this because I can't believe how natural and beautiful this wig looks. So what I would suggest is to use a black cap. That is what I used. I only took out a little bit of my hair in the front. Um, my hair is braided down. So I took out some hair and I did go ahead on and use some herbal growth to treat my edges um, because my edges were a little bit dry. And after I did that, I just went ahead and brushed it in. Um, I didn't put any heat on it or anything like that. So I took out just a little bit of hair in the front and went ahead and put the wig on. I did decide to pull out a little bit of hair in the front just so that I could style it for you guys. You don't have to do this, but I did um, this, like I said, just to kind of be able to put it in a couple styles. So I used my wide tooth comb and I took my um, edges and I just combed them back into the wig. The wig is such great quality as far as the natural texture and feel of this wig that my hair just absolutely blended right in with it so I had no problems with that so if you have a darker um, toned hair even if it's probably like um, a number one number two number four you should be able to blend it in really good with the wig so that you can get a more natural look so this is just the wig on you know with not anything done to it not styled or anything and you really can just throw this wig on um, lift it from the roots and you can just um, go it's a really easy no fuss wig um, to wear and the curls stay beautiful throughout the whole time I did have some straggly pieces at the end I went in and I cut those out I didn't get that much shedding um, this is a 360 of it with it being in that style so what I decided to do is I just wanted to do a couple um, lifts with the wig on the side not a total mohawk but just lift it so that I could get some height in the front so I took a rubber band two rubber bands and I pulled one side up in a ponytail Tail, and then I took a pin and I pulled it into the middle and I just got the look where one side would be up and the other side would be hanging down and then you'd have it hanging down in the back and I thought that was really really cute it opens your face up and it just gave the wig um, a different look the next thing that I did is I went ahead and pulled up the other side to give more volume and more height to the top of the wig um, to sit on my forehead so I took and made another ponytail on the other side and took a pin and did the same technique to let the hair just fall the way it wanted to fall and I will tell you out of all the little styles that I do like this one I thought it was really cute it gave height um, to the wig and it just made it just look really 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 cute to me um, the edges was fine because I had my natural edges out if you don't have edges then obviously you could do faux edges. You could take a couple pieces of hair and you could cut those and you can make you make some faux edges. It's not necessary to have edges for this style. All in all, I think it's really, really a cute wig.
Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for this unit. So as I mentioned in the intro, this unit is um, sent to me from an Amazon seller, Stamp Glorious. I will leave all the links and um, information for purchasing um, this wig. So this wig was sent to me from them, and I just wanted to go through it, and I wanted to do a couple different little looks for you um, with the wig. I absolutely love it. I think that it's an easy, quick... Um, go to natural look if you like wigs like this so as usual on my channel i like to give you guys pros and cons when it comes to um these wigs so let's go through some cons first so the first con is for those ladies out there that like lace front this is not a lace front wig this is a full wig as i mentioned so you do not get lace you do not get um any type of scalp or anything it's a full wig and as you saw um you can put it on as a full wig or you can put some of your edges out and you can um, put it behind your um, hairline and you can um, basically blend it in and wear it as slightly maybe a half wig but it does not have lace on it it does not have a parting area it does not have a skin top so if you were looking for those things this may not be you know what you know a wig that you would want but otherwise um, let's get into maybe another con another con is it does come with tight curls excuse me so if you don't like the tight curl look then you may not like that it's natural they did just to me such a great job at getting it to look natural and be natural um, so once you go through um and you comb it out the older it gets the better it's gonna look but if you're someone that don't like that fuzzy look over time then you may not like it and to not get that fuzzy look you probably can just not play with it as much and maybe go in with a little bit of spray um and um they got to be glued spray and spray it with that and then maybe it'll hold the curls longer i think the curls will last for a long time if you don't obviously comb them out um but um if you want to comb them out i think it's just gonna look um gorgeous besides that the cap construction was slightly small for me but my braids are old so it didn't really matter um i was able to put it on and pretty much maneuver around that and i did even use adjustable straps so if i probably took the adjustable straps out it probably would have fit just a little bit more comfortable um another thing is this wig does not come with any combs so if you're a lady that like combs then it doesn't come with combs but an easy quick fix you can either sew combs in this wig or you can go ahead on and do like I did and use bobby pins um anyway so otherwise let's get into a couple of pros 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 First pro is the texture of the hair. Absolutely love the texture of this hair. I think that the companies have nailed it. I mean, absolutely nailed it when it comes to um, catering to African-American um, textured hair. They've done a good job and they've, they've been able to do it in units that are very inexpensive. Also, if, you, um, if you're interested in this unit, I'm going to leave a coupon code for I think it's maybe the brown one. One of them they're gonna give us um, um half off or fifty percent off. So I'm definitely gonna leave that information as well. Um or I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But um back to what I was saying. I really think that it's great that they cater towards us as far as wanting kinky hair. Everyone don't want hair down their back. Everyone don't want bone straight hair sometimes you just want to give your natural hair a break and you want to wear something in between and i'm glad that they're catering towards that as well and not leaving that whole market out to me this wig it 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 hits that no you don't get lace or anything but everybody don't like dealing with lace so i think that that is a pro also so you don't get lace that's a pro for people who don't like to cut lace you know put lace down make baby hairs all that kind of stuff if you are so a diva out there that just want a wig you want to throw on you want to maneuver it you will have to maneuver it you will have to make it customize it and make it your own if that's you then i think this is um like i said the wig for you it's not too long i like that i like the way that they did the natural tips on this the natural tips on this is really 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 cute i mean it literally looks like you went and got either a straw set or um or the way your the dreads look that are really small and the, the tips will look very natural it looks like that so i love um love that about it it's versatile as you saw i have it up like in a half um two ponytails and i just kind of have it stack because i wanted some hair to come to the front and some hair to hang in the back and i just was kind of playing with it putting pins in there and just kind of playing with it so you can um do different styles and everything with this even though it is a short um a short unit and it's a full wig and not not a lace wig all in all i think that the wig is really cute i don't think the price on it is bad either um i think like i said it's in the 30 ish dollar range this is new to stamp glorious this is new to the amazon site um if i'm not mistaken it will be available soon i'm filming this 
September the what is today the 6th or 7th I think it's going to be available within a couple of days so you can go ahead on and put your order in on the site um and like I said if you get I want to say the brown color I have a coupon code for that one um so I will leave that below all in all she's a cute unit tell me what you guys think um about the unit do you have something like this do you you know do you like the curl pattern I think the cur curl pattern on this like I said is absolutely super super cute um totally blend in with my hair i only took out teeny bit of hair um with this unit so if you guys have not yet please consider subscribing to the channel definitely don't forget to go over and check out stamp glorious um site i will definitely leave a direct link to their store on amazon thank you again so much for um sending me over this unit again i think it's gorgeous so thank you so much for sending it over if you are my returning subscribers they already know hey girl hey how are you what do you think about this unit? What it, all my naturalistas out there? I posted this wig on my Facebook. If you're not following me on Facebook, sus, what's up with you? I post this wig on Facebook and pretty much like everybody went bonkers over this wig. They're like, oh my gosh, I got to get this wig. And I'm like, it's not even out yet. I just had to send them pictures of me doing this review so that they could actually launch the wig. So, um, so anyway, it's not out yet. And that's what I was telling everybody. I'm like, once it's out, I'll update, I'll update, I'll update. But I absolutely love this wig. Tell me what you think. Do you have something like this? Um, do you think it's going to last? Would you comb all the curls out? Would you leave it like this where you just see a little bit of the curls? Um, would you cut it? You know, would you get it in different colors? I think it comes in three colors. I think it comes like a 99J. Um, it comes in like maybe a number two-ish four or something like that. And then it comes in this black color. All the colors I've seen look really, really good. And I think that, you know, that's a great blend for them starting out with this wig. So if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos, you guys already know the deal. Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, do not forget to take Tag me in it. I want to know. My name is Beauty by Mark. I'll see you divas in my next video. Bye.